Honey Mike Media here for you. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are driving on our way to a grocery store right now because we got to get a couple things because we are doing a nice, comforting, cozy meatloaf dinner tonight, guys. So Mrs. Honey was vegetarian for a long time, so and vegan. So this meatloaf recipe is one that she's grown to love as well too because I make a meatloaf for myself and then I make her a lentil-based meatloaf for her vegetarian self. When she chooses to be vegetarian, today is that day. But we gotta hit the store and we gotta get some other things too. And you know, it's been a minute since you guys came to the store with me, so why don't we go for a ride? If that sounds like a good time to you, hop into this car with me. Let's go. So for the lentil loaf, we need some cooked lentils. Let me grab two cans of these bad boys right here. These always come in handy for us. That's almost it, so... Alright, see you in the kitchen, guys! Thanks for coming along with me to the store, it was nice having you. It's time to get to work. Quarter cup for the lentils. Next up, the lentils. We're saving us time. Right, here's our cup of carrots. Oil in your pan. Nice with you. Pouring part of the lentil loaf is done. That's the chopping and sauteing of veggies. Now we gotta build the lentil loaf. We gotta build that fake meatball, basically, is what it is. All of this stuff you're gonna see here is gonna end up in here, and then we're gonna throw it together in a bowl, mix it with the veggies that we cooked off, and then we're gonna put it in a loaf pan, and then we're gonna cook this bad boy, and we're gonna have some dinner tonight, guys. So without further ado, let's bring you in a little closer. Let's take a look. Three quarter cup oats. We're going to do about a quarter teaspoon of uh, nutmeg. About that. So I rinsed whole can of lentils right into there. Oh yeah, and if you look, this flax is already, if you can see that in there, bound up really nicely. And you get a nice consistent binder like that. Oh, that's perfect. So that's going to go right into. to a bowl. That is exactly what we're looking for with the lentil loaf. Heat mixture right here. We got our veggies going into that meat mixture. This is going to come out right into there. Right in. Hey, the two best tools you were ever given. Right here, get in there and start working this together. Form it into a beautiful vegetable, vegetarian loaf right there. Take a look. Guys, we made ourselves a lentil loaf. If 
you're a vegetarian out there and you're looking for something great to eat, a good home cooked meal, this is a great recipe to make for yourself. If you want this to be more luxurious looking, you can throw the veggies into the food processor if you want to. I've done that in the past. I find leaving the veggies in a holer cut helps bind it together more. That's the key with the lentil loaf is you want it to stay together and slice very nicely. So, like I said, we're going to pack this into the pan. We're going to put it in the fridge, let it set for a little bit, and then we're going to throw it in the oven. We're going to bake it off, and we're going to get to that point shortly. And we're also going to put a nice little glaze on top of this while we're making it too. It's going to be so good, guys. This will be a go-to for every holiday if you're vegan or vegetarian right here. Look at it. Onion Mike lentil loaf, baby. Come on. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell me if you think that looks gross or cool. Piece of parchment paper in there just so it doesn't stick. Yeah, there we go. Just put it like that. Just drop right on it. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You want this thing to look like a beauty loaf in here. Well, no. Look at that. And then just push. That's gonna be so good. I made this for a ton of holidays for Mrs. Onion. I'm telling you, this thing hits. Just take a look at this lentil loaf. Put the lid on right here. Mine came with the lid. And this thing is gonna go chill in the fridge. The oven is hot. This meatloaf has got to go into this oven right here. We're gonna do it here. So again, 400-ish degrees for both of these. So we'll put these in here for about a half hour to start. We'll pull them out and we'll put the sauce that we made on top of that for them. And they'll be ready to rock now. Obviously you gotta have some sauce to put on top of the loaf before it comes out. Let it caramelize, get a nice crust with it. Everybody needs that sauce on top, whether you do ketchup, whether you do barbecue sauce, whatever it is, let me know in the comments because I've done it differently my whole entire life. But I've come up with a really, really great, tangy, sweet, little spiced sauce that can go right on top of this. It works perfectly with both either a real meatloaf or the lentil loaf. It's fantastic, guys. So why don't you come in a little bit closer and we'll get to work. So we're going to use sriracha for this. We also got some apple cider vinegar we're going to use. Some tomato paste goes in here. You can use ketchup if you really want to use ketchup, whatever it is. And we got some Mike's Hot Honey. That's going to be the kicker in here. Yeah. One. Sriracha. Well, give this a stir. A little pinch of salt. Alright, so we got ourselves a nice little spicy, sweet, tangy. Sauce we're going to put right on top of this meatloaf. We're going to check that here in a second. But take a look at that, guys. That's a beautiful color for that. It's like a ketchup. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Tons of heat. But sweet heat. Not that stuff that's going to burn you in the back of your mouth. All right, guys. So that meatloaf is right at 140. So we're going to pull it out here. We're going to put on that glaze we just made a minute ago. Oh. Guys, look at that. That is a lentil meatloaf right there for any vegetarian on any holiday. Oh yeah. Oh, over the top. Into the oven you go. That is a lentil loaf right there. Take a look at these guys. These look absolutely fantastic. Ooh, we did it guys. We made some meatloaf today. It's been a long day, a long hard day of work. Thanks for hanging out with me every step of the way. We went to the store together, we cooked, we ate. This right here, that is the lentil loaf. Stay nice and firm. Put your little nose out of there. Yeah. Well, that's just a look. Mm -hmm. That is the little girl vegetarian plate. Nice and yummy.
Yum. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, all that look good. I'm gonna try the one for the sake. Trying it. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. So good. Your best one yet. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So much good meaty texture in there. So much good flavor in there. Flavor. Oh, delicious. Can't go wrong with that one. Cheers, guys. Oh, all right. Uh, uh. We did it, guys. Another one in the books. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit that like button and you do subscribe if you haven't yet yet. Other than that, it's me here at Onion Mike Media. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Enjoy that one below. Thank you for watching. Happy eating. Happy eating.